Hey guys, this is Dan Wolak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Today we're going to talk about the kit that I've been carrying over the last month. It's a little bit different than what I normally carry, but the components are pretty much the same. So stay tuned and we'll get started on what I have inside my kit. Okay, so what I have here is my throwback kit, at least that's what I call it. Uh, I put this kit together just for something different. The components are quite similar to what I always carry, but uh, most of the stuff I got at Military Surplus, I got it offline, I got it at flea markets, yard sales, stuff like that. So it really wasn't too expensive of a kit, and some of the contents are actually pretty cool, and I like changing things up once in a while because it just expands my knowledge base around being able to use different items while I'm out in the woods. But I always find myself going back to the same old stuff. So um, at least the same categories of things. So let's get started. So this pack itself is a San Marcos Italian rucksack. And I purchased this at a military surplus store for $12. It's a large bucket style pack with two large front compartments and uh, heavy canvas. And it's a great pack so far. I can't, there's nothing, no downfalls for this pack so far, other than if I was gonna travel real, real far with a lot of heavy weight in this, it's of course it's soft. Um, it doesn't have any kind of fixed frame to it, so uh, that would be an issue. But I have had no issues with it so far for what I carry. So, what do I have in the front compartments? Well, first I have just an El Cheapo water bottle with a uh, cork in it. So, this is my container for this kit. I also have my fire kit in this tin container that I have, a ferrocerium rod, a hand car, a handmade uh, flint and steel kit, and then uh, just some twine and stuff like that to sustain fire. On the other side, I have a handmade Sammy coffee bag that I made myself, and I just have some um, small components in here as far as a folding fork and spoon, I have uh, some sewing components, some twine, some rope, things like that are in here, a sharpening stone. So I can go over this in another video, but I carry this in the front compartment because it's something that I might need to grab to repair something quick, or if I need to um, get something out here, this is like my go-to bag and my go-to kit. I have some tarred hemp twine in here also. So that's all I have in the front compartments and I still have a ton of room left inside there. So in the big compartment, I have just a few items. And this kit is basically put together right now to go to a sustainable shelter. Something, either one of our larger debris shelters, my yurt, my wall tent, something I know I'm gonna live out of that's already sustainable. If I was gonna sleep in super cold conditions, as far as going on a scout, I would throw a tarp and another wool blanket in here. But for what I'm doing, I know I'm headed to shelters that already exist. This is gonna get me through. So um, what do I have inside? Well. One thing I do love to do when I'm out is eat. I love to be able to eat something. So I have a bunch of cookware. I have one of these uh, old pot pans that I purchased at a flea market for a quarter and just an old uh, coffee pot. So I like to keep them with me. Along with that, I have a hand carved spatula that I made while I was on a big trip in South America. So I keep that with me just for easy use and uh, some memories, you know. I have a Cusca and just a wooden bowl that I carry. So I, I, I'm pretty heavy as far as my cook kit in this kit, but it is winter time so it gets dark here around 4.30 in Pennsylvania during this time of the year. So there is a lot of time just spent around camp. I have some cotton rope, some hemp rope, a military wool blanket that I bought at a surplus store. And then last but not least, I have an ax. Now I'm in the process of making a sheath for this. So um, this head I actually purchased at a yard sale and I rehandled it. Now you're probably looking and you're thinking, well that's a, a felling ax head on this short handle. This handle was a full size handle, but I cut it down. Um, I had a lot of experience and a lot of days behind a full size felling ax recently and there's a time and a place for a felling ax and a full size felling ax. But what I found was that once I got around camp and I was done felling the trees, I ended up choking up on the ax and doing a lot of splitting work and smaller work, even to the point of processing fish to save my knife blade. 
I realized that when I was at junk stores and thrift stores, I would always see axes in the corners and the handles were cut short. I never really knew why. And I really think it was because the old timers ended up not felling a lot of trees and they used it a lot more for splitting and um, processing firewood back at the homestead. And uh, it works out absolutely perfect. So keeping this kit smaller and more compact, I ended up cutting my handle down with a larger head. I'm a big guy, so it's not too hard. I can't work with this all day and do fine tasks, but for in a wintertime environment, I can chop down a pretty hefty tree with this and um, I can also split wood out and it just works out well. So that's a little modification I made specifically for this ax head. And then of course around that ax head, I have some cotton material that I can use as a scarf or to clean up and um, maintain my gear. So that's my kit for right now. The only thing, like I said, that's missing out here is possibly another wool blanket or a tarp and some food. So I would throw that stuff in. I have more than enough room in this Italian rucksack. So that's what I've been carrying recently. And I want to share that with you. I love gear and I love carrying different stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, um, check me out on Facebook. Uh, of course, we're on YouTube now. Instagram at uh, Coldcracker Bushcraft. And we are also in the early stages of launching our new website at www.coldcrackerbushcraft.com. You can go on there, get your email set up, and um, I'll let you know as soon as the site launches for all the new stuff we have coming up real soon in 2017. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys soon. Until then, enjoy the woods, guys.